Hi, Leo. Welcome to your weekly September reading. This will be you, your love messages, your general messages, and, and the energy check. So we're going to look at the influence and energy for you this week. Second portion will be current person on your mind. Third person will be will be a new potential coming your way and then Aries through Pisces. So hit that like and subscribe. You've got the world card. So major accomplishment this week. Um, some of you could finally be finishing a project, finishing, uh, you know, something in your life uh, that you've been working really hard towards. Uh, some of you could be moving, traveling. Uh, the world card just says it's a major chapter finally finishing, maybe completion of a, a cycle with somebody. Um, a cycle, you know, maybe actually literally moving. So let's see what's coming on, coming into your life this week. The world card is a, a big hell yes, though. It's like finally something has completed. See a break, a vacation, rest, recuperation in your future. All right. Let's see for my Leos. Help in hand, partnership coming in for you. Um, if you need some help this week, somebody's there for you. I uh, do you see conflict, uh, feeling defeated, feeling worn out, tired, right? You've worked really hard to get to where you're at. All right, we've got the solar plexus chakra, so tapping into that inner strength, willpower. So it does look like a lot of you have really been pulling in some willpower lately to make it through a situation. You know, it seemed like you were feeling defeated there for a minute. Um, I often look at this as the overall or, or what's been going on, what that, you, that you're coming from. And we have the solar plexus, though, like your strength and your willpower to move forward and finally feeling accomplished, feeling like your hard work's paying off. I do see heartache and loss. You've got two threes here. So you've dealt with some sort of heartache or loss or there's some sort of sadness that you're feeling. But I've got the two of cups here, right? So there could be a reconciliation here. You've been holding on and waiting. And for some of you, you know, maybe there was a completion or there is a completion to a union and you had to deal with that for a while. You just felt defeated and, and you know, you needed to move forward. But now you see this week could be a week for some of you where you're actually meeting eye to eye with somebody. So it could be a reconciliation with somebody that you've ended with, or it could be a whole new chapter starting up for you, um, reading energy-wise, right? And we have material and spiritual prosperity. So again, you're getting the Six of Pentacles energy. So you have some windfall of money coming in. That's the card of the universe is bringing in a gift of money, a gift of abundance, um, things balancing out for you, things looking better. So feeling spiritually uplifted this week. So whatever has been defeating you, whatever conflict you've been dealing with, your, like I'm saying, your strength, your will to succeed is surpassing any heartache, any heartbreak that you've gone through. You're putting it was three, three, three right now, right, right now, three, three, three. And you got the threes here. All right. And the six. I thought I saw three, three, three in my head, I guess. And then I looked up, you've got passion ignited again. So maybe get in, maybe there's a uh, a turning point this week where you're reigniting so you can it can go both ways here either reigniting with somebody or or igniting brand new passion after a long period of time and the universe is finally bringing it in now some sort of balance for you in love and in your material and spiritual world all right we got the ace of swords you got two aces showing up for you some clarity a new beginning start in you know you got the two of cups and the two aces all right. So you've got a brand new cycle starting here with the ones, the twos and the threes moving on from heartache, moving on from feeling bad or like if you've been crying over somebody or feeling defeated over a situation. All right. There's some clear new beginning coming in for you. Um, and I, it doesn't matter if it's past, new or what. I'll do the past. I mean, I'll do the current person and the new potential coming in next. But right now it is showing an energy of this is the week where things are coming into balance. Four, four, four. Things are coming into balance for you. I have the eight of cups. So a lot of you have emotionally withdrawn. A lot of you have been doing a lot of soul searching up to this point. 
and look at the eight here. You got a lot of synchronicities in your reading. So it's brought so much strength and so much power to you and so much confidence. You're a whole different person entering this new cycle of your life. So whatever you've currently just been through, I know it was a lesson or it was really hard for you with that three of swords, very painful, but you've learned one of the biggest lessons in your life and you're moving forward forward into like something where you can trust you know a situation that you can trust the truth is coming in clarity is coming in and and if some of you are moving sign in a document that's two cards that say sign in a document right Look at this moving on you are moving on leo moving on to calmer waters things are looking way better for you this week than any week so far so that conflict you know you get six of cups here maybe you would focusing a lot on the past person. Maybe you were focusing on the past, wondering if you love was going to come in for you again. Here it goes. We're moving towards it with these cards here. So let's see any other good stuff coming towards you. And then I'll look at the current person on your mind. Could be a Gemini. I see romance, celebration, or party happening. All right. We see... Success assured with good plans and hard work. You got egg, right? You've got a dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. All right. We have feather. Feather, could be, you could see feathers this week. Someone you know may be undependable and insincere, and you could be moving on from this person. And a position of authority. So being the king king of the jungle, guys, by the end of the week. So you're moving past whatever this is that you are enduring this week and don't take things so like zero to a hundred doesn't have to be this 100 thing it's a weekly reading could be something we all have obstacles every day different things showing up and this kind of feels like that kind of a reading you know all right let's look at the current person on your mind leo apparently they better match your energy because you're showing up in your power with this card right here. So you're showing up confident and in your power, ready to take on whatever whatever's coming your way. You've got the justice and you've got the ace of cups. So maybe somebody um, opening up the truth, paying, you know, maybe some karma is being served, some justice, some honesty, divine love. Could be a new, that's definitely a new chapter. You got the two of wands and you've got the justice card again. So we're, see, we're seeing a date with the law, a date with justice, maybe getting married, maybe taken to the next level, uh, maybe getting a divorce, maybe signing some legal documents with that ace of swords, you know? It can be any of that. All right, so let's look at the current person on your mind. Aries Leo Sag, somebody has likes to have a lot of fun. There's that two of wands again. Somebody think about making contact to you. All right, they have fun when they're with you. They, you guys go out and do a lot of things together. Um, they're hesitant, but they are ready to make contact and maybe go on a date this week. So you could be going on a date with this person. Aries Leo Sag, does feel like there's some negative thoughts between the two of you, maybe some negative things said in the past. Um, they are in their head. They feel like their hands are tied because that two of wands is is also like, you know, I want to make contact with you, but something might be holding me back. And I've got the way they view you, the nine of wands. They might see you on guard. They may have hurt you in the past or they may have hurt you or they, they you don't trust them. Could be something else holding them back and they haven't been completely honest with you. And you had that justice card and the ace of swords. So somebody could be telling you something this week, why things weren't working out or why they haven't called you or why they haven't made any attempts to go on a date with you. It could be anything like that. All right. We have their next actions. We have um, taken action. We have the the magician card taking action towards you, wanting to manifest this. We got an Aries Leo Sag. All right. They definitely um, want to come. They're attracted to you. The obstacle is, though, is you. So I don't know if you're being like in your power, like you're holding back, you're, you're, you have self control, or you have a lot of pride, and this person um, is afraid to confront you, maybe intimidated by you. All right, I do have the two of pentacles, so it's like they're going back and forth on what kind of decision to make, but the outcome is the three of pentacles, making plans to get together and work things out. So it does seem like positive movement ahead, and I have the star card. So 
don't lose faith in this connection. Um, if this is a current new person or whatever, or it seems as though you guys are coming into alignment, but for whatever reason, their hands were tied, whether they said something or they lied to you or didn't tell you a complete honest truth about a situation they were in. And now things are changing, but they know that they have to confront you with something. So, and you're kind of intimidating. You're showing up intimidating in this read. All right. So we got the moon card. This could happen before the full moon or by the full moon in Aries. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Gemini, another Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, but I will roll the dice and you can check your placement. We have Aries, Gemini, Taurus, and House 2, 6, or 10. And you could have that placement with Venus or Jupiter. All right. Let's see. New person potential on my Leo's mind. New person or potential on Leo's mind. New person or potential on Leo's mind. New person or potential on Leo's mind. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups, 1122. All right, Ace of Cups. So you've got strong potential. That's Two of Cups is coming through twice for you today. And you had two Aces. So this could be the week that you're meeting somebody that could potentially be your one. All right. There's definitely mutual attraction, the law of attraction. So whatever you're attracting in, your vibe, you're attracting in somebody. Look at this, the magician card underneath, Gemini energy, all right? The hermit card, somebody who's single, somebody who's available. Maybe somebody that it could be long distance um, relationship, all right? The ace of swords again. So the synchronicities in your reading are amazing. So we're seeing um, here some communication. Somebody definitely thinking about you. They're trying to send subliminal messages or something like, please. It could even be like when I see these two cards together and you have them twice in this reading, guys, twice, right? This is your calling in your soulmate. You had the justice card. Divine love came in for you. This doesn't happen very often, but when it like double like, uh, you know, you got one, two, one, two, 21, 21, two, two, one, one, right? This is, even if you don't know this person, you've been manifesting this person in with that, um, the ace, the ace of cups and the magician card. You've been manifesting this person in, Leo, and this could be the week that this is happening for you. Brand new love, right? We got a Pisces energy. You've been waiting a while for this. You're going through a transition period. This is the transition period. So they may be moving, traveling. Could be somebody from another country, somebody who travels for work, somebody who's traveling to be closer to you. But you're, the universe will work for you. When you're manifesting this much power and you're manifesting in what you want and you believe in it so much and you expect it, this is coming in for you. You've surrendered, let go. That's the hardest part of manifesting is surrendering and letting go. All right. You got a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming your way. Somebody who could be very wealthy, well-rounded, very grounded. Look at the Scorpio death card. So you're talking about a brand new beginning. Major transformative, major, major change. I don't think that's for you. All right. That's it. All right. So you got Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces energy. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and this is big change, a transformative relationship with the death and the two of cups and the ace of swords. Very intuitive, highly spiritual connection. Almost like you guys can read each other's minds. All right, let's see. Let's look at the placements, guys. The placements. You have Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, and house 7, 8, or 12, or you could be one of those rising signs. All right, your person, or you could have Mars and Mercury in Pisces, Libra, Capricorn, or Aquarius. Um, your person can be those signs because there's a sun here. Uh, sun in Libra, Pisces, Aquarius, or Capricorn. 
You had how seven those. So you're talking about relationship, marriage type of relationship, profound relationship. All right, let's look at Aries through Pisces. For those of you with somebody specific on your mind, maybe, and you want a message, remember these, I do these a lot, so they may not always resonate. Ask your higher self to connect and to focus on the sign that you want a message about. And only take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right. Aries, can you forgive them? And can, can you forget? They don't think you can forgive and forget uh, whatever happened in the past. Taurus, you know, they've grown because of you. They definitely are a better person because of you, uh, whatever happened. Gemini, they're feeling the consequences of their actions. Cancer misses you regardless if they're trying to act like they don't. Leo, you feel like home to them. Virgo feels bad for the way they treated you. They know you didn't deserve that. Libra, please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. Scorpio, no other compares to you, Leo. Sagittarius knows they effed up, but they don't know how to fix it. They have no idea how to fix this one. Capricorn, they don't know how they feel anymore about the situation. It's wishy-washy or going back and forth. Aquarius, uh, you guys trigger each other, all right? And they don't like to deal with whatever shame, blame, or whatever's going on between the two of you. They don't like to deal with it. Pisces um, should have been more honest with you about how they were feeling, and now they regret it because they weren't honest with you. So this was an amazing reading, Leo. I hope this resonates with some of you, and please let me know in the comments if this happens for you. And uh, take care. I'll talk to you guys soon.